The Opus Award is the Lifetime Achievement Award of the Ogden Museum of Southern Art, giving to artists of great distinction from the American South who have not only created a body of work that speaks volumes of the mission of the museum and the development of art and culture in the American South, but also of their individual passion for advancing art of our region. Well, the first time Pat and I met George, and we stopped in a restaurant called Landry's. And all around the wall, they had paintings by an artist, and they had for sale signs on them. And we got to talking to maybe the owner at the time, and he suggested that maybe we want to go in the back and meet the artist. And sure enough, we went in the back, and there was George with a big easel just painting away. And uh, he said a few words to us, but didn't stop painting. The first time I walked in to Georgia's studio when I was a college student, the thing that drew me in and caused me to stay and sort of get lost in the forest, if you will, was that George was in those years doing his, his landscapes and they were the dark, moody, uh, ev evocative of the deep recesses of, of Cajun country and Acadiana. The thing I remember the most is just the way the studio was. It was like in the, the, the attic of our house and my dad set up like all of his easels and everything in there and it was like a completely different place from the rest of the house. I would try to stay up there as long as possible, you know, to watch late night TV with him and it was like that, that battle between like, is he gonna let me? When George was growing up in New Iberia, there were no art classes in his school. There was no opportunity even to see art, no museums, no galleries no art books around. So it was, it's very important to him now as an adult to be able to share the arts with kids. And he feels like an arts integrated, not only education, but also really life um, is very valuable because that's the life that, that he lives and indeed we live and it enriches us so much. Well, my dad has uh, been classically trained. Uh, he can paint anything he wants and he's chosen to paint things that interest him, that are fun for him to do. Because all art should be fun. It should be fun for the creator as much as it is for the viewer. And so he's been on a 45-year journey of exploring where his artwork can go. First starting with the Cajuns and then moving on from the legend of the, the Lou Garou Cajun werewolf dog and transferring that into the, the Blue Dog series. One of the most important things about George as an artist is that he um, never listens to what anybody tells him to do. He does his own thing only. He's very famous uh, around our house for saying that his favorite painting is the one he's working on right now. Well, my dad's uh, artwork has been loved by so many teachers and students, and they get to use it in their classrooms. And that wasn't the goal of the Blue Dog originally. The goal was to um, do something in the pop art world that hadn't been done before. Um, so he was so surprised that students and teachers were actually taking his work and using it in their classrooms to, to teach all these different lessons. So not just an art lesson, but counting, reading. Uh, and so that's really inspired us to keep the arts in schools in a meaningful way. I think George Rodriguez's goals change constantly. George is not a man that just stays on the same path. The Opus Award uh, of 2013 is given tonight to George Rodrigue based not on any one uh, work of art or even one series of art, um, but based on a lifetime career. An artist. An educator. A philanthropist. A father. A fellow LSU fan. A Saints fan. A husband. A music lover. A wonderful, dear, and close friend. An icon. Hey, Wendy and George, 
Pat and I are so glad to be with you here tonight. We're so happy to share with you in this great award. You deserve it, my friend. Uh, George, you are making a difference, and for that, we are all so very, very grateful. Congratulations, Dad. Uh, I'm glad you won the award. I'm really proud of you. Congratulations, Dad. You've been an inspiration to me my whole life, and I can't think of anyone that deserves this award more. Congratulations, honey. I'm very proud of you. George, congratulations on receiving the Opus Award. It's a great privilege and honor of ours to present it to you this evening.